Hello, fellow scratchers. Today, I want to quickly dive back into our Geometry Dash series because, oh no, some of you may well have experienced this horrendous bug. If that is you, then I am so sorry. And I'll explain why and how to fix it in just a moment. But for the rest of you, fear not, we also have some new content. Do you see what it is? Oh man, yes, the parallax scrolling background. At last! I really, really wanted to get this in before the next episode when we will introduce end portals, and that is going to be just too cool. So right off the bat, the horrendous bug! Well, everything may have seemed to be working fine, but if I was to click on the level sprite, make it visible, and then happen to drag it on the stage, well, that would bring the level sprite in front of the player, as it always does. And this has an unforeseen consequence. Run the project. Oh, sorry, uh, hide the level sprite again first. Now things look okay at first, but as soon as you start the game, disaster! No music, no particles, no collisions or jumping. Indeed, no gameplay at all. If this has happened to you, then I can imagine you would have pulled out your hair trying to solve it. So let me help you now. Click back into the player sprite. Now remember how we added this when I receive reset level receiver, specifically to stop the particles when we started a new game? Well, sadly, if the level is ordered in front of the player sprite, then this reset level also stops the main game loop too. It's all down to the execution order. The simple fix is to ensure the main sprite is in front. So drop in a go to front block up here under the green flag script. Let's test that theory. Yes, music, particles, I can jump. And just a sanity check, I'll bring the level back in front and try that again. Yeah, we got it. Bug squashed. And that was a real corker. I'm just glad it's now fixed. Right then, on we go. How about we work on adding that scrolling background? Now, you can draw this yourself, but if you prefer to snag my pre-drawn background assets, they're linked under the video, then it's found under the purple sprite here. Just open your backpack and drop it in. So back in our episode 9 projects, we now have access to the purple sprite. And this includes a, both a new floor and ceiling costume, should you wish to use them then you can, but also the new background costume. This should be 720 by 360 pixels in size, and is actually made up of two identical 360 by 360 halves side by side. I just fused them together to ensure that there'd be no seams. Now, having the two images as part of the same costume means that if we size this background up real big, we can create our infinite scroller without the need to create any extra clones, and that just makes things that little bit easier to manage. So, we'll begin by making a new sprite for this, naming it Background. And we either drag in the purple background costume, or we spend the time to draw this ourselves. Just make sure it is two 360 by 360 tiles side by side. We keep the name of the costume as Background. But also, we need a second blank costume, and that I'm going to name Tiny. Let me show you why we need this. If I reselect the background costume, now we need this to be even larger than 100%, so that half of the costume fills the entire stage. But if we try to enlarge it to say 150%, <laughs> Scratch is having none of it, and it keeps it set to 100. Nope, it doesn't want your costume to become bigger than the stage. Bother! Well, this isn't a problem for the tiny costume. The costume is quite happy being set to 150% since it's already really small. But the crazy thing is, once the sprite is at 150%, if we switch back to our large background costume, it doesn't get downsized this time, staying at the 150% that we wanted. Well, how fortunate. 
Let's formalize that in code. When green flag clicked, show. And then switch costume to tiny. Before then setting the sprite size to 150. And then we can switch the costume back to the background costume. Now we need to ensure that we move this background right to the back behind everything else. Go to back layer. However, there is one more sprite, the particle sprite, that is already trying to go to the back. So to ensure that the background one wins, we'll add a weight zero just before sending it back. That way the particle goes first and then this one second. If you hit the green flag, we can confirm this is working and that the background looks fantastic, especially with the new floor colours. What we need to do next is get it scrolling along with the level. No problem. Forever. And we'll change X by, but we'll need to divide. So we divide scroll speed by 10. This is so that the background moves 10 times slower than the foreground. This is called the parallax effect, and it gives it that 3D depth that we're looking for. Yeah, that is really cool. But the only problem is, sooner or later, we are going to hit the end of this costume. So now we need to cycle it around into an infinite loop. If and a less than, if the x position is less than, hmm, what value exactly? Well, our cycle wants to loop from here to here. That's the length of one half of the costume. The costume is 720 pixels wide, but we sized it to 150%, so that now makes it 1080 pixels across. Half of that is 540 pixels. And half again is 270 pixels. So whenever we move left below negative 270, we add back 540 to continue the perfect loop. Okay then. 720 scaled by 1.5 divided by 2 is 540, the amount to scroll by. That is change x by 540 to keep the cycle going. And the less value above, that's half of that number again, 270. Only remember it must be negative, so that's negative 270. Let's run this thing. And this time, it just keeps on scrolling forever. Excellent. That's exactly what we wanted. And you know, that might just do. But I would prefer to also give us a bit of vertical movement too as we move up and down the level. So as you might expect, that requires not a change Y actually, but a set Y position block, because it's based directly off the camera Y now. So first we need that subtract block, as the camera Y is always inverted. And then we'll pop in the value 100 on the left. If I do set the position to 100 over here, you'll see this brings the background right up, so that we even see a bit of a gap at the bottom. Uh, this is okay though, because it will always be hidden behind the floor, and it maximizes our scroll height. Now on to the right, we want another divide block, dividing camera Y again by 10, and that's for that parallax effect. And that should be that. Let's give it a test. Hmm, I gotta say, it's hard to tell that it changed. Uh, did you see anything? Perhaps better to try it on some stairs later on in the level. Ah yes, if you watch the top of the screen, you can see that it's slowly making its way down with us now. Hurrah! So that is pretty much it. Uh, except the really observant ones among us might have noticed that when we die and respawn, the background is left one frame behind the level. We can fix that OCD nightmare by introducing a when I receive reset level and then simply drop in a copy of the set Y2 script from down here. And that should ensure the position is set as soon as the level resets. Just need to get back to a high point to test it. 
Um, yes, that was much better. Great job. And as much as I hate to say it, that is where I'm going to have to leave you today. But fear not, I have a stonking next episode already in the works, where we will finally be bringing our level to an end. In glorious Geometry Dash style, would you look at that. Awesome. So please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel now, checking the bell icon to ensure that you get notified the moment my next video drops. Yeah, I couldn't help but notice that most of the scratchers commenting on my videos haven't, publicly at least, subscribed. So if that is you, do consider subbing, as I would absolutely love to get closer to that amazing golden play button. You know you want to see me unbox that too, don't you? Ha! So that is it. Thank you for watching, have a great week ahead, and scratch on guys. <laughs>